Docs Marine, open seven days a week from 8 to 5. Sales, rental, service, all in one place. It's at Docs Marine, 5803 Eichard Ridge Road. The individuals depicted have been arrested but not convicted at the time of story postings. This information does not infer or imply guilt of any actions or activity other than their arrest. We make no warranty or guarantee as to the accuracy of this data. Welcome back. You're watching the WHKY News, and this is the Crime Report. I'm Ralph Mangum. WHKY's Rob Eastwood starts us off with details on a prison sentence in a drug case from earlier this year. The defendant in this case was charged in connection to an investigation that resulted in a search at a lodging establishment. During that search, authorities reportedly found multiple drugs along with a firearm and drug paraphernalia. The defendant will serve a minimum of more than five years in prison. 46-year-old Ronald Sean Griffith of Statesville pleaded guilty to trafficking in opium or heroin, possession with intent to sell or deliver Schedule I controlled substance, and felony maintaining a place for controlled substance. The plea was entered during the August session of Iredell County Superior Court. Griffith was sentenced to 70 to 93 months or five years, 10 months to seven years, nine months in prison. He was also ordered to pay a $50,000 fine. On March 5th of this year, deputies with the Iredell County Sheriff's Office received information regarding illegal drugs being at the Masters Inn on Sullivan Road in Statesville. Deputies went to that location where they met with Griffith and two other suspects during a search Deputies found 38.08 grams of heroin, 10.04 grams of methamphetamine, and 118.84 grams of marijuana. Drug paraphernalia, cash, and a loaded pistol were also found. You are looking at those items right now. According to the North Carolina Department of Adult Corrections Offender Public Information website, Griffith has multiple prior convictions in Iredell County dating back to 2001. Following this month's guilty plea, Griffith will serve his sentence in the Albemarle Correctional Institution in Stanley County. So once again, a 70 to 93 month prison sentence in this Iredell County drug case. Reporting for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Thank you, Rob. More from the courtroom now. 43-year-old Lonnie J. Owens II of Taylorsville pleaded guilty to felony breaking and entering during the August session of Alexander County Superior Court. He was sentenced to 10 to 21 months in prison. Owens was arrested in May of last year when Alexander County Sheriff's deputies found Owens and another suspect at an abandoned home off of Millerville Road. Owens was initially charged with felony counts of breaking and entering and larceny after breaking and entering. As of earlier today, Owens was being held in the Alexander County Detention Center. 48-year-old Johnny Mac Carson of Conover was taken into custody by Alexander County Sheriff's officers Wednesday. He faces charges that include felony possession of methamphetamine, possession of marijuana, possession of drug paraphernalia, and resisting a public officer. At last report, Carson remained in the Alexander County Detention Center under a $20,000 bond. A district court appearance was set for October 14th. That story is courtesy of WACB's Rick Gilbert. WHKY's Ariana Mack has three Caldwell County arrests, including two on meth charges and this one for assault. A Granite Falls man was arrested on assault charges. 31-year-old Reneth Jeffrey Mitten of Duncan Drive in Granite Falls was arrested on Wednesday by Caldwell County Sheriff's officers. He was charged with one felony count of assault by strangulation and misdemeanor counts of communicating threats, assault on a female, injury to personal property, and crime of domestic violence. Mitten was jailed under no bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. District court dates were scheduled for August 29th and September 19th. A Lenore man is charged with possession of methamphetamine. 33-year-old Jordan O'Neill Shade of Waycross Drive in Lenore was arrested on Wednesday by Caldwell County Sheriff's officers. He was charged with one felony count, possession of methamphetamine. Shade was jailed under $25,000 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. No court dates were listed. And a man is charged with breaking and entering and larceny. 27-year-old Branson Lee Severett of Blue Creek Drive in Lenore was arrested on Wednesday by Caldwell County Sheriff's officers. 
He was charged with felony counts of possession of methamphetamine and breaking and entering. Severett was also charged with misdemeanor counts of parole violation, larceny, and second degree trespass. He was jailed under $25,000 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. A district court date was scheduled for September 19th. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana, and thank you all for joining us here on the Crime Report today. Now for WHKY, I'm Ralph Mangum reminding you to keep it clean and to keep it legal.